born in Rwanda, and I grew up enjoying the beauty of Rwanda's Thousand Hills. And I'm here today because different generations invested in my being here. And so my interest is what is it I can do to continue to invest in other generations. In Rwanda, we have an expression we say, all the children of Rwanda are our children. So investing in generations is about investing in all of the children, whether they're the children of Rwanda, the children of Africa, the children of the planet. And so what I'm really excited about being here today is that all we are doing here together is to really create a better future for all the children on this planet. And so it was very exciting for me when I got funded in an innovation feedback program to take some of what I had learned from my mother and some of what I've been learning through social researchers to really uh, empower women in Rwanda. And so our project took cameras to rural women and from all of them, it was the first time they actually held a camera in their hand. And the challenge for them was to go and take pictures of what were their successes as well as their challenges. And this was a moment for reflection for all of them. Because none of them had really thought, well, do I have successes? Because they're struggling. They're trying to survive. They're, they have so little time for themselves. And so what was really exciting is they took amazing pictures. And these are some of the pictures they took. And these pictures were presented to the women, and they were also later presented to the Rwanda Agricultural Board, so extension workers working in the field. They were discussed with policymakers as well as agribusinesses. And what was really exciting is that the Rwanda Agricultural Board learned a lot about what they were doing right and what they could do better through the dialogues that emerged with these women. And what was also important is that by discussing their successes, they realized, oh, this woman was doing this really well. And then maybe six years I was doing something else even better. And they were able to exchange and empower each other in ways they had really never had the opportunity. And this research was really having them as co-investigators. They weren't objects of research. They were the ones going out and collecting the data. And what was very exciting for me was when they were presenting the data to their communities, so their husbands, and uh, as well as the extension workers, this was an opportunity for them to present how they saw themselves as entrepreneurs, as leaders in their community. And by voicing their successes publicly, they were seeing themselves anew. And so this space of empowerment was really critical to where I want this to go. And following our meeting, what I realized through my own research was that Rwanda was spending $2 million a year importing poultry products, was importing a million eggs every week from Uganda, and that poultry meat was the most expensive meat in Rwanda, even though the government was working really hard to get poultry uh, resistant strains into the country. And so really, the factor that was missing in the value chain was the woman needed to be trained to have really sanitary poultry foods to ensure that the disease spread wouldn't affect their capacity to uh, continue their production. How do we ensure that women's voices continue to contribute to filling the gaps in the value chains so we can significantly increase the economies of African countries and have that increase the nutritional status of their children and have that allow us to really touch in that intangible space that is women's capacity for leadership, for owning what they do, so how they contribute to their economies, grows our countries in peace, in strength, in beauty as well. One of the things we have to remember as researchers, and this is my reality, is I've been very lucky to be funded by amazing programs. But the reality is for every grant I get, there are nine I didn't get. But every time I don't get a grant, I learn. And it's been amazing for me to be here listening to the grantees in the program of putting women and girls at the center of development because that's a program I applied for, but I didn't get. And I've learned so much through listening and talking and sharing with all the recipients that did get that grant. And so the reality is, 
We never lose, we always learn, and because we always learn, we will win all together. <laughs>